up YouTube, it's your boy the franchise guy. Come back at you again, episode of Madden 19. Franchise mode featuring the Philadelphia Eagles doing some scouting. And boy oh boy, do I prefer random draft classes opposed to like real life prospects just because of this. Like, look at this. Jackson Lim, second round talent, you know. Nicholas, whatever his B last name was. Second round talents. And they were busts. They were fourth and a seventh round talent. But, you know, that last um draft class I used right there where it had Nick Bosa in it, Hunter Renfro, all those guys, they all went in their respective rounds and that created a problem where they were starting to get drafted before they were uh, the whatchamacallit because there wasn't enough prospects in it. There wasn't enough prospects in it, so fifth round talents were gone in the third round just because they were guaranteed to be good. But taking a look at everyone, you know, looking for offers. Abdullah's not going to come back. Nick Foles, try to franchise tag him. Mills got to come back. You know, Elliot's got to come back. A lot of these guys, I want to come back. You know, Jenkins, I definitely want to come back. Mills want to come back. Elliot, Wentz, for sure. Coming back, he's signing the biggest contract, I think, in sports history. Actually, I don't know because Carson, not Carson Wentz, uh, Bryce Harper's $330 million deal. This one might not top 300 actually. I'm not entirely sure how expensive I give him a contract. The reason why I have I gave him this much money, because I've seen C4, a great YouTuber. I really enjoy his content. He's one of the reasons why I... Um, do YouTube, as we saw in Carson Wentz right here, has had a problem, at least earlier in Madden, or, you know, the start of Madden, like, two, three months ago, where you would, he would go to sign Carson Wentz to a max contract for max, you know, sal max signing bonus, max annual salary, and he would decline asking for more money, so at least if I gave him the seven years, it would make it seem like I'm giving him more money, but he outright accepts it. Malcolm Jenkins, uh, we need, I am not thinking right currently when I was doing this because we just signed Carson Wentz to that mega contract. $245 million for seven years. Carson Wentz is going to retire an Eagle regardless, hands down, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Signs the second biggest contract in, you know, Philadelphia history. Unless we're talking about what was, what was Carter Hart's. No, Carter Hart in my uh, Flyers franchise signed an eight-year, $8 million contract. So that's only $64 total million, which is nowhere close. I'm not going to ask him to improve the uh, the bonus. Or their bonus was, I think, seven-something million. It wasn't even that bad of a bonus. Don't really know why he's asking for a better bonus right now. But look at that. Taking on the Vikings. Bum bum bum. Vikings are being taken on on the road in Vikings Stadium, I guess, whatever you want to call it. The home of Super Bowl 52 where the Eagles, you know, after the Minnesota Miracle took on the Minnesota Massacre, uh, defeated the Vikings wholeheartedly for all of five minutes of a game just owned the Vikings then came to this stadium and uh yeah they beat the Patriots by eight points but you know the past the past you know the future's the future this Eagles team definitely looking to win its third um Super Bowl in a row currently They're looking for a dynasty right now I know the Chance Bishop Road to the Show, Road to the Show, Road to the Show is a new series which is coming out uh, starting when uh, the show 19 drops, March 26th, so uh, 22 days away, actually, I'll get that game, uh, there'll be more upcoming news about that game, possibly doing a giveaway for the show 19, wink, wink, 
I would definitely stay tuned and start subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Wink, wink, if you want to play the show 19, wink, wink, with current Philadelphia Phillies megastar Bryce Harper on the cover. Wink, wink. Uh, yeah, now if you guys didn't understand those winks, I'll definitely replay that little, you know, 30 second snippet right there just to make sure you guys are understanding that there'll be some big news uh, in about the next month or so <laughs> regarding that game. Two new series will be coming out, definitely a road to the show featuring Chance Bishop, of course, because the Bishop verse has the best single athlete of all time in it. It's like the spider versus all the spider men's in it. And women, can't forget the spider women. All these spider peoples in it. Has all of the Chance Bishops in it. It is like the Hall of Rick from Rick and Morty. Or the League of... I'm not sure. In Marvel Comics, it's like all the Reed Richards formed together to form a collective Reed Richard mind. It's like the League of Reed. I don't know. I don't know what's called. But yeah, no. I'm, uh, so be, there'll be more news on that uh, that franchise mode coming out for. Oh, look at that! Braxton Barrows her broken ribs, not coming back for the game. That that sucks. That's gonna hurt this passing offense. Braxton Barrows, not the biggest guy. Right there. Does Carson Wentz get sacked by Hunter? Braxton Barrows, not the biggest, not the biggest receiver. He's not an Alshon, not a Nelson Aguilar, but you know he's a reliable, he's a reliable guy. I like. I like Barrows. He's a really good underneath slot receiver. You know, you throw him for five and he gets 15. But yeah, no, definitely stay tuned because I have some big news for that. Uh, the show 19 franchise mode. When that comes out, there'll be some really big news regarding that on how it will be done. Uh, and then uh, Road to the Show, one of my favorite game modes, will be done as well. Featuring Chance Bishop, just because it's Chance Bishop, the greatest single athlete of all time, as he tries to, you know, uh, take care of some business. Try, I'm trying to do that series, you know, a little more cons constant than I do some other of these series. Just saying how he's all one a week. Series like my My Career for 2K Madden, uh, my Franchise Mode for Madden. The only series that I think that run, I don't think that I know run more than once a week, are the two stream series, which is Flyers franchise that I get I stream randomly on YouTube, and uh, Chance Bishop uh, Be a Pro, which I stream randomly on YouTube. Those series come out three days a week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and Saturday respectively for Friday respectively for Flyers, Saturday respectively for Be a Pro. But yeah, it's all that fun stuff right there. Uh, look at this. Just Kirk Cousins dotting us up right there. 7 for 8, 54 yards. Not the greatest thing I want to see coming from uh, Kirk Cousins right there. But speaking of Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins getting sacked by Brandon Graham, last year's sack leader, giving him the L. That's their second sack of the game right there for the Eagles. Good to see. Glad to see the Eagles team coming out in force, you know, this defensive line, something this Eagles team prides themselves on, uh, definitely um, picking up the slack. But speaking of Eagles D-line, the Eagles, you know, I said last time I said they re-signed Brandon Graham for three years, 40. They also uh, didn't pick up Timmy Jernigan's $11 million option. That's a huge cap hit that is not on your roster for next year. I understand why they did it, uh, just because he was hurt pretty much all of this past season. And you can't be paying a guy $11 million just to not play. I, I get it, he did really well his first season with the Eagles. Like he exceeded expectations, pretty much was a free player. They uh, flopped fourth round draft picks right there with the Ravens. And they got Jernigan right there as, you know, Nelson Aguilar gets there. So that's, that's a scary thing right there, to, to lose our number two wide receiver. Especially to lose our number two and our number three in the same game. 
and a dislocated elbow for Nelson Aguilar. So Aguilar knocked out of the game. We've lost two of our top three wide receivers right there. Not not too happy right there about that. It's not a good sign right there. I mean, we do have Matt Collins backing up. I'm not entirely sure who. We have Matt Collins, Cody Thompson as our backups for wide receiver. So, hopefully we can get through this game. Uh, speaking of Matt Collins, right there, third and goal, gets the catch. Can't fight his way in for a touchdown, though. Going to be helpful on the five-yard line. Jake Elliott getting some more work as he's his second field goal of the game. 6 nothing lead right now for the Eagles. You know, and right there, we're just going to get burnt on the secondary again. Kirk Cousins finds a wide-open Stephon Diggs, who runs in for the touchdown. 75-yard pass right there. You gotta love first plays of a drive that go for a touchdown. A lead right there now for the Vikings. One-point lead, still a lead. I mean, look at that. Zach Ertz right there with the reception. Again, we're gonna hit up by was Ertz again. Now that's gonna be Matt Collins on the sideline. Gets the reception. Matt Collins, who didn't have a really big season last year. I don't think he had a really much any of a season. He was kind of off to the sideline majority of the season. Uh, coming up big this game, especially after some players go down. And who is this? Is this uh, St. Brown right there? He gets to number 19. You know. Carson's going to roll out first and 10. Going to go for a touchdown and he's going to fumble in the end zone. They're going to take it out. They're going to get stuffed at the two-yard line for Hughes. Probably should have knelt it in the end zone. But it's whatever. Quarter ends. No harm, no foul. Zach Ertz with a truck right there. Who thought that would ever happen in their lifetime? Zach Ertz trucks a defender. I mean, uh, who are you moving on Zach Ertz? Because Zach Ertz would never do that. Carson Wentz going to find a wide-open... And I mean wide open Alshon Jeffrey right there. Big gainer right there. Brings him into the red zone. Third and six in the red zone. Gonna hit. Who is this? Is this Amir? This is Wendell Smallwood in the backfield. Gonna get tripped up going for the touchdown. Gets down on the four yard line. First reception of the game for Smallwood. I don't really throw to my running backs. Don't don't know why. I'm just Every time I throw to my running backs, I just never do good. Carson went scrambling in the pocket, gets gets sacked by Everson Griffin. It's gonna be a big loss. It'll be a 15-yard loss right there. The announcer saying, "It's like, oh well, at least it happened on first down, not you know third." But right there, we're gonna hit up Cody Thompson, the rookie. I think who was he? Was he like a fourth or a fifth round draft pick? I mean, he was drafted. You know, he was. I think he might have been later. I think he might have been like a fifth or a sixth round draft pick actually. Just because we needed someone to draft, and we've drafted Cody Thompson. Gonna go for a pitch right now. Uh, Wendell Small again gets stuffed two yards short of the goal line. So that's not good play calling right there by Tony Romo. You know, Davin Cook up the middle for the first down. You know, a 7 to 12 lead. I mean, a five point lead isn't the worst lead possible. It means a touchdown is needed to get the lead as uh, Stefan Diggs is hit in wide open space yet again a 64 yard touchdown this time this Eagles secondary needs to needs to bulk up as you know they do right there Brian Dawkins you know coming up clutch on play calls you know stopping that two point conversion short you know, again, going to dump underneath to Zach Ertz on first down. Ertz breaking some tackles. Going to get a 15-yard pickup. 229 yards so far in the game for Carson Wentz. Only one touchdown opposed to his four from last game. Second and nine. The head is ball off to Wendell Smallwood, who's going to run up the middle. Get a nice little gain right there. Six rushes, 23 yards on the game for Smallwood. Not the greatest game for him. But, you know. He's trying. And again, back-to-back -back runs for Smallwood. Now up to 35 rushing yards. Five rushing yards. That's, that's how you get two 10-yard carries back-to-back, -back, really. 
Yo, third and five, going to throw the ball to Zach Ertz. Ertz going to fight his way to the one-yard line before going down. Yeah, I wish Ertz had a little more fight in him. Seven catches, 70 yards on the game so far. First and goal, going to get sacked again. We're trying to throw that ball to the A receiver. Just couldn't get that ball off in time. Eric Kendricks with the sack right there. Second and goal, going to fire the A receiver again. Zach Ertz going to scroll in for the touchdown. Was that his third in the past two games? I mean, Zach Ertz might single-handedly break uh, LaDamian Thompson's uh, touchdown record at this rate. Now, three games, three touchdowns. Not a bad sight. This time, the two-point conversion works just as it's planned. Eagles take a 17-point lead. Not seven, eight, it's not 17, a seven point lead over the Minnesota Vikings. On defense, third and seven. Kurt Cousins not connecting with his big tight end right there, Zach Rudolph. That's not Rudolph. Oh, maybe it is Rudolph. He's got captain. Maybe that is Rudolph. But Eagles now third and eight. Carson Wentz going to lob that ball up to Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon Jeffrey to the races, the 10. The five, and he gets brought down at the four-yard line. Alshon Jeffrey's second big catch of the game. And on first and goal, Jordan Malata, the fullback from Australia, runs that ball up the middle for a touchdown. You know, who said rugby players couldn't play professional football? Because uh, that's exactly what happened right there. Malata just takes that ball in for a touchdown. Nice, you know, 14-point lead. Uh, first play of the, you know, this new drive. Nick Bosa comes screaming in, gets a sack. Second, 17. Second play of that drive, Bosa comes in again for the sack, forces the fumble. Fletcher Cox dives on it, recovers the fumble inside the 15-yard line. Back-to-back -back plays, you know, Nick Bosa just doesn't get blocked, screams in right there. And, you know, Carson Wentz going to find his favorite target by far, Zach Ertz. His second touchdown of the game. Eric Kendricks in coverage could not cover the future Hall of Famer. Look at that. Dalvin Cook with that handoff right there. Going to get a nice big gain. That's a little too late, honestly, to be running the ball. This is Nick Bosa again with his... Third sack of the game on the quarterback. Look at that. Do a little finger wag right there. It's Vikings crowds cheering for some reason. I mean, their team's down by 21 points. And Nick Post is going to get his fourth sack of the game. You know, he's just taunting, taunting this crowd. His fifth sack of the season right there. Gotta be the front runner for defensive rookie of the year. I'm sorry. If Nick Post has that five sacks in three games... You gotta be rookie of the year for defensively, honestly. Kirk Cousins throwing it deep, fourth and a mile. Picked off by Ronald Darby back to back weeks with an interception. Great to see from the cornerback right there. We gave him a big payday last year to stay in Philly. Something that the real Eagles are not doing apparently for Darby. They're not giving him a they're not giving him a contract. Josh Adams is going to go down with an injury on that first down run. Not a good sign to see, especially with the amount of injuries we've taken. This game alone, I mean, hand the ball off to Corey Clement, who's come in in emergency relief for Adams. Eight rushes, 49 yards on the game. Low back strain. Uh, we'll be out one drive or one play or whatnot. But Corey Clement right there. Gets a spin move, breaks two tackles, and he's going to fall in for a touchdown. Look at that, his first rushing touchdown on the game. It's, yeah, it's his second on, no, that's just the milestone go. I think it's Clement's second rushing touchdown on the season, so that's always good to see right there. Especially, you know, a, you know, a product affiliate under the free agent, as Nick Bosa is going to get his fifth sack of the game. Number 97's putting on a show here in Minnesota. Second and 20. Nick Bose is coming in. Kind of get blocked for once. That's a smart try for this, you know, Vikings offensive line. It probably should have started doing that, you know, three sacks ago. 
But right now we have who's that? Josh Sweat on the line. He's gonna hit, you know, Cousins as he throws. But Thielen's gonna get that reception. Gonna go up for the first down. I mean, first and ten right now. Sweat again rushing it in. And Zach Rudolph, or not? I'm not entirely sure what Rudolph's first name is. Kyle Rudolph. That's his name. Kyle Rudolph with the touchdown right there. Just not covered one bit. Second and six. Corey Clement gonna run this ball up the gut right now. Up to 86 yards on the season. Corey Clement again back-to-back -back rushes. Tries to truck someone. Not gonna work. Up to 98 total yards on the game right now. Definitely a single season high. Four Eagles running back. As Clement's going to go easily over 100. Especially after this big run right here. 114 rushing yards. Definitely three weeks in this season, a single season high so far. And Malata, the fullback, gets the ball again. His second touchdown of the game. His second touchdown on the year. I mean, definitely, definitely love having him on the roster. He's a playmaker. He's a difference maker. He's someone if you need some yards, you're going to get some yards out of him. Carson Wentz on the point of touchdown. Not Carson Wentz. That's AJ Cole, I think. I don't know. Maybe Nick Foles. Point after touchdown. Gets intercepted. Trying to bring down Harrison Smith right there. Smith not going down easily. Going to take the ball all the way up for a two-point conversion. Uh, too little too late, though, honestly. The Eagles blow out the Vikings on the road right there. I guess the Vikings are at home. The Eagles are on the road. 47 to 22, 283 passing yards, 272 rushing yards. That's a lot of rushing yards. Kirk Cousins not too happy. Neither is anyone else on this Vikings team. Uh, especially number 22, Harrison Smith, right there, who had the two point conversion for a two point interception conversion. Good for him, at least. Carson wants 24 for 29. Uh, three passing touchdowns, 221 yards on the day, rushing. Corey Clement, 114 yards. Wendell Smallwood at 39. Amir Dora, 45. Uh, Adams had 39. Carson Wentz had 33. Malata had 9 and 2 touchdowns. Receiving Alshon Jeffrey, 134 yards. Zachers, 81. Um, St. Brown, Goddard, Wendell Smallwood, Aguilar, and Corey Clement all had receptions. Johnson and Peters allowed sacks. Brooks had a pancake. Nick Bosa led the team with six tackles and five sacks with a tackle for loss. You know, Brandon Graham had a sack two on the game. So did Malcolm Jenkins. Overall, good game for the Eagles team. Great win. But if you guys like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. As Nick Bosa's role with an upgrade point for his five sack performance. But yeah, no, definitely like, comment, subscribe. If you guys missed this episode, make sure you guys check the list down below. Do upload weekly in this content, so peace out, rock on YouTube, stay classy guys.